This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at dye sensitized solar cells. Dye sensitized solar cells convert solar energy into electrical energy. DSSCs imitate the way in which plants harness solar energy. In a DSSC, electrons originate from a dye when it absorbs light. The dye contains a conjugated system, which has alternating single and double bonds, that absorbs light in the visible spectrum. Next, we look at the operation of a dye sensitized solar cell. The light passes through the transparent anode and excites the dye molecules. The excited dye molecules inject electrons into the titanium dioxide layer, which acts as a semiconductor. The electrons flow through the external circuit to the platinum cathode. They then flow into the iodide electrolyte. The electrolyte then transports the electrons back to the dye molecules. In the DSSC, the dye is oxidized, it loses an electron. The oxidized dye receives an electron from an iodide ion, which reduces the dye back to its original form. In this process, the iodide ions undergo oxidation. In this equation, we have the oxidation of iodide ions to form the triiodide ion and two electrons. These electrons reduce the oxidized dye back to its original form. The electron that returns to the DSSC from the external circuit reduces the triiodide ion back to iodide ions. In this equation, we can see the reduction of the triiodide ion to form iodide ions. The iodide ions can then be oxidized to form triiodide ions and electrons. The transparent anode allows sunlight to reach the dye sensitized titanium dioxide nanoparticles. The use of nanoparticles coated with light absorbing dye increases the effective surface area and allows more light over a wider range of the visible spectrum to be absorbed. This allows the DSSC to absorb more light under cloudy conditions than silicon based photovoltaic cells.